Staying connected. Today's wireless communications and our wireless communication devices keep us connected, saving us time and making us more productive. Today's manufacturing is all about saving time and increasing productivity. Stopping a production line, correcting a problem, then restarting the equipment takes time and costs money. Now, Schneider Electric has a solution a wireless solution to those costly stops and restarts. The Harmony XB5R wireless push button. With a state-of-the-art receiver and transmitter that are pre-synchronized, the XB5R wireless push button is easier and faster to install than a wired solution, saving you up to 20% on installation costs. With no wires and no battery to replace, there's no maintenance cost, plus increased mobility and functionality. In this video, you'll get step-by-step -step instructions on how to program and operate the Harmony XB5R wireless push-button transmitter and receiver. You'll learn the components, symbols, and terminology. You'll learn how to program the transmitter to the receiver, deprogram the transmitter from the receiver, change relay options, momentary, maintained, start-stop, and determine signal strength, good signal, weak signal, and no signal. Let's examine the components, symbols, and terminology. The Harmony XB5R wireless push button consists of a receiver and a transmitter that are pre-synchronized for fast, easy installation. The transmitter, a simple push button, can be housed in a fixed plastic or metal enclosure, or it can be used as a mobile device, whichever is most convenient for the machine operator. The receiver can be mounted adjacent to or inside a control panel. Mounting outside the panel provides a wireless range of 100 meters between transmitter and receiver, while mounting inside the panel provides a wireless range of 25 meters. The receiver shown in this video features six LEDs, a power LED that indicates the receiver is on, an output one LED, an output two LED, as well as two relay LEDs that indicate a momentary or maintained option and a start-stop option. The sixth LED indicates the wireless signal strength of the unit. There are two buttons on the receiver. The scroll through button is for selecting the various outputs and relay options. The OK button is for confirming your selection. Now let's learn how to program the transmitter to the receiver. First, Press the scroll through button, holding it down for several seconds until the output one LED is flashing. Press the scroll through button to select the output. Then confirm your output by pressing the OK button. Press the transmitter button three times until you see the wireless signal strength LED go green. Now press the transmitter button. The output LED flashes, confirming the programming is a success. Next, let's learn how to deprogram the transmitter from the receiver. First, press the scroll through button, holding it down for several seconds until the output LED is flashing. Press the scroll through button to select the output you'd like to deprogram. Then confirm your output by pressing the OK button. Next, press the transmitter button six times. When you see the wireless signal strength LED light up green, the command has been accepted. Now when you push the transmitter button again, you'll see that it's not communicating with the receiver anymore, and the deprogramming is a success. The next step is learning how to change the relay options, which are momentary, maintained, or start-stop. Out of the box, the default relay option for the receiver is momentary. However, if you would like to program a maintained or start-stop relay option, please follow these steps. First, hold both the scroll through and OK buttons down at the same time until you see the LEDs flashing. Next, select the output by pressing the scroll through button, then press the OK button to confirm. Next, press the scroll through button to select the relay option. On the momentary maintained LED, two flashes is momentary, 
four flashes is maintained. By scrolling down to the next LED, you may select the Start Stop Relay option. But please take note that to program this option, you'll need two transmitters. Let's program this output's relay as maintained. Scroll to the momentary maintained LED, then wait for four flashes, the maintained option. Press OK to confirm. The transmitter will still need to be programmed to the receiver, as described in programming the transmitter to the receiver section. Now with the maintained option, the light actually stays on, then goes out when you hit the transmitter button, then returns when you hit the button again. It holds its position when it lights back up. Now to change the relay option to start stop. As we did before, hold down both the scroll through and OK buttons until the LEDs are flashing. Scroll to the desired output with the scroll through button, then press OK to confirm. Then press the scroll through button until you see the start stop LED flashing and click OK to confirm. Now repeat the procedure, programming the transmitter to the receiver. So as we did before, let's program onto output one, which is the start stop option. As you can see, the start stop LED is flashing and remember, for this option, it takes two transmitters. The first setting, the two flashes, is going to be the stop function, so confirm that you are adding a stop. You'll see that the receiver is looking for your transmitter, so press the transmitter button three times to program the stop. Now we've programmed the stop, but before this option takes effect, you'll need to program a start as well. To program the start, You'll go through the same steps. Hold the scroll through button until the LED flashes, then click OK. Now the receiver is asking you if you want to add a stop, two flashes. Now scroll to the next symbol, four flashes, which is a start, and click OK to confirm. The receiver is now looking for the transmitter. Click the second transmitter three times to program the start. This option is different from the maintained option in that you need two transmitters. One is a dedicated on and one is a dedicated off. The next step is to determine signal strength. The last LED, the sixth on the receiver, indicates signal strength. A great feature of this product is that you can test signal strength before installing the transmitter. When you push the transmitter button, and the wireless signal LED goes green, that indicates a strong signal. Press the scroll through button to clear the last pulse received by the receiver. Press the transmitter again. The LED displays green indicating the signal is still strong. Push the scroll through button again, then test again. When you push the transmitter button and the wireless signal LED is yellow, indicating a weak signal, this means you are approaching the limit for an effective signal transmission and you should shorten the distance between the transmitter and the receiver. Then test again. When you push the transmitter button and the wireless signal LED does not light, that indicates the signal was not received. You should shorten the distance between the transmitter and receiver and test again. The XB5R Wireless Push Button from Schneider Electric. An innovative solution that saves you time and money and increases your productivity. For more information about this product or to schedule a demonstration, please contact your Schneider Electric sales representative. <laughs>